Welcome back to the channel everyone, Judo Sloth here and in today's Clash of Clans video we're spending a ton of loot from the December season challenge. We are unlocking the 6th builder in that of Autobot from the builder base and we are going to be checking out the brand new Grand Warden skin, the Primal Warden. Welcome to 2020 by the way guys, I wish you all of the very best for the new year. I am going to sit down and record a video talking about my goals here with YouTube and content creation in general for 2020. But let me know if you have any New Year's resolutions down in the comments section. Let's dive straight into this. We have 30 million gold pretty much and 30 million elixir now we've timed this quite nicely because we have three builders available and check it out guys we have auto bot ready to unlock we can upgrade the hut to level five i'm going to very quickly take a screenshot of that i do tend to share a lot of my screenshots over on instagram so if you're not following me be sure to follow me Instagram slash Tudor Sloth, that is where you will find me. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. Wow, that was quick. No confirmation message. I'm taking a ton of screenshots, guys. But this is the most mammoth task within Clash of Clans. I honestly think that this is the hardest thing that I've ever done within the game. It's taken the longest, shall we say. Not necessarily the hardest, but I think it is the thing which is grinding the game the most. And if you have Autobot, be sure to let me know. Now, I want to send that thing across unplaced buildings. There we go. Let's pop this. Let's just pop it in the middle of my base. Now, how do we get him across? How do we get him across? Travel. Ah, there we go. Easy. Easy, guys. I knew kind of how to do it. I just forgot. Anyways, we have Autobot now. Be sure to leave a like to let me know if you have Autobot. So we have four builders. And by the way, if you are going to be purchasing the new gold pass or any of the packs, I don't think I'm going to buy any of these packs. The hero mixer is probably the best one for us, but I just don't think I need it. The seven times value one, although it's seven times value, the hero potions... They only last an hour and then they're gone. I would rather purchase something that actually progresses me within the game. But if you are going to be making any purchases, purchasing the gold pass, be sure to go into your settings, more settings, and right at the bottom, the content creator boost code for me is judo. It really does help me out here on the channel and I really do appreciate it, guys. So we do need to purchase the gold pass, which I'll be doing in a second, but let me know in the comments. Was this something which was in the game before? I'm not too sure, I've never noticed it. But within the preview of whatever hero had the skin or is getting the skin, there is now this kind of grayed out area, you can click it to go to the season pass. I'm pretty sure that was there. But when you come right to the bottom, I'm not sure we were ever able to preview the skins, were we? I've never noticed it. It should have been there. I mean, if you're thinking about purchasing this, then really the preview makes sense, right? But I like it because it's kind of like the Dragon Skull. Where is it? We had one the other day, look, right behind our Fortune Tree. So I like it because it's that, but it's not my favorite skin. Before we spend all of this gold, guys, let's go and purchase that gold pass. Let's make sure that we get this purchased and we get the new hero skin because I just can't pass them up. Even if I didn't get any of the other stuff, I need the hero skins every month. Let's go ahead and purchase this thing. We've got the gold pass. I just need to purchase it on my other accounts now. It's just so good value. Now, let me know if you prefer the skin being right at the end or if you like it at the start, like it was last month. I've got to be honest with you. I, I know there will be a mixture of opinions on this, right? Like people that can't get to the end of it and would prefer to just get the skin. I like that it's a bit of a challenge in order to get to the end of it. And I understand why it's there. You have to grind out to get the skin but then when you get to the end and you get the skin you ultimately get all of the other rewards so you will probably feel like you have had a much better reward than if you just unlocked the skin and then left the rest of it you probably feel like you got more for your money so many of you pointed out a couple of days ago when i went to use my uh, book of building onto the expo that i just upgraded 
and I accidentally finished off the town hall upgrading. So we got it to level four. I think that has to be my highest priority. Get my town hall 13 Giga Inferno to level five. So that's the first thing I'm going to spend 18 million gold on. Wow, it just sunk the gold straight away. Now, I also think that another thing which is quite high on my priority list is the Siege Barracks. This is the brand new Siege Machine because I'm constantly getting them off my clan mates and I feel like I'm not being a team player by not having this to return to them. So I am going to spend a lot of the elixir to get that upgraded. Unfortunately, we don't have a book of building. Otherwise, two weeks, I probably would have used the book on that. But never mind. Now that we have six builders, it is very helpful. By the way, we're going to do a couple of attacks to finish off the video as well. The first one is going to be the best Town Hall 13 strategy. I honestly feel this needs nerfed. I know there's a lot of difference of opinions. I know we need to wait of the bases to catch up and I fully understand that. But when you're watching the high level pr players, the pro players, they are using that disproportionately to everything else. And that's why it needs a nerf in my opinion. But I do appreciate we need to wait things out. However, I'm also going to be attacking with the Hog Riders and the Miners, that beautiful hybrid army which I love. Yesterday we attacked in war with them two attacks and we got a six pack, two three stars. I will be sure to link you across to that afterwards. So guys, we have two other builders. What are we going to use these on? Let's see what the suggestion is. The Grand Warden. Now that is something which I really do want to upgrade. We do have a book of heroes as well. We have... Rune of Elixir and a Rune of Gold, which we can use, but my Grand Warden is only 12 million. How much is a wall in order to upgrade? Because if I were to... I ah, see, we wouldn't get it. We wouldn't get it, guys. If I, if I could manage it properly so that when I used the Rune, I would get plenty of it back. Hmm, wait a second here. Let's go into the research. Now, I, I really want to upgrade the wall breakers because I use them quite a lot in my Lalo style attacks. And I'm just going to do it, guys. I feel like having that lab, not having anything in the background working doesn't make sense. So let's go ahead and upgrade that. Seeking air mine. Well, I don't want to upgrade that, but I've got plenty of dark elixir look and it is mentioning that my king is available to upgrade. So I kind of feel like that is something I should be doing as well, because then I can earn dark elixir in the background when I'm farming. I can also rack it up into the season bank if you weren't aware, even if you are farming and getting the dark elixir. If you are not actually getting it into your storage, it doesn't go to the season bank as well. Let me know if you knew that because um, they changed that after the season challenges came out. I think the Barbarian King is a good upgrade, but we are going to have to use the Book of Heroes. Main reason, I just never like to be without my heroes in war attacks. I know it just gets him to level 66, but it means we can get some more Dark Elixir. We've got two other upgrades which we can do, guys. Thanks to that sixth builder. When we get all six of them going, I might even... Do we, do we have a Book of... We don't. I was going to use a hero potion. It's the best thing in the game. A builder potion. Getting my words mixed up, guys. Um, 11 million. We can't actually upgrade anything right now. Is there anything which is 12 million to upgrade? That would be pretty close. There's not many. There is not many, guys. So we might have to just sit it out here. Because I really don't want to use the runes or anything yet. Because they won't get us good enough value. How long is this Seeking Air Mine? Seven days! I'd rather get a defense than a Seeking Air Mine. I I'd really rather just wait them and uh, wait with them and do them last so that's probably going to be it with the spending i think because i don't want to waste my golden elixir however later on today as i've been farming i probably will be able to get um I'll be able to get a Tesla upgraded will be my next thing. And then also, once I get 5 million in order to upgrade a wall, which is only 2.5 more uh, million elixir, I will upgrade that, use the rune in order to get my Grand Warden upgraded. If we have, I think we have a book of everything. No, we don't. So I'm probably not going to do that, guys. But anyway, let's get out there and let's do some attacks to finish off this episode. And I'm not going to gem... I'm not going to gem right away to the primal skin. 
because it's 3,000 gems, which is $24. And that's quite a lot, guys, just to get the skin early. I don't feel like I want to gem it. I've done it in the past, but I don't feel like I want to gem it. Maybe if it was a super cool skin, I do think it's good, but it's not my favorite. Let me know what you think down in the comments. But that is your new skin for January 2020. Let's do a Yeti attack, followed by the Hogs and the Miners. Now, the Clouds have still, still been a little bit of an issue. So let's come back once we have a base ready to attack. Okay, so Mike has single target Infernos, but more importantly, he has over 800,000 loot in terms of gold and elixir. We just spent almost 30 million of each. I know we still have the gold, but let's see where we're going to attack from. There's a scatter shot at the bottom, so I kind of want to stay out of the way of that. Oh, let's just go from, I don't know, I don't know, this side here, guys. This side here, we've got to start somewhere because you can easily time fail when you're doing a Grand Warren walk. So, let's kind of make this up as we go along. Where are we going to come in from? I think probably starting down here, although the Hog Riders would take a bit of a battering from the scatter shot. I think if we distract the scatter shot first with the Yeti moving through, we should then be pretty good. Just letting this Grand Warren create a funnel here. Do I send another balloon in just to protect the healers? Because you do want to protect those healers. Let's now go with the jump spell. Probably here. Grand Warden is going to take down the Royal Champion. Going to be fine here. Then let's go with the Yeti to help that Grand Warden. I do not want to have to use that ability. Nearly did. With the King, Queen. We can use the baby dragon on that side. Now we can use the Earthquakes into the center here. Let's use a Rage spell. Grand Warden has that ability. Scattershot is tanking for my troops coming through here. Yeti coming through the middle. Let's use that Grand Warden's ability. Oh, the Scattershot is still on the P.E.K.K.A., which is not ideal. And the Yeti might not take down the Town Hall quick enough here from the Giga Bomb. I don't think they did. Out come the Hog Riders. We can use that heal. Luckily, the Scattershot is still tanking the P.E.K.K.A. Let's use the Royal Champion over to that left-hand side. And use a Balloon to help over there as well. Hopefully, the Yeti get the single down here. Debating using the Queen's ability to help because the Yeti are going down quick. We've got Hog Riders moving around the base let's use that royal champion to help out over there in terms of that ability let's try and clean up a little bit around the bottom of the base hog riders doing well but they're going down quick but this is normally what you see as long as you can protect the healers through you then have the yeti moving towards the back end we still got that queen's ability royal champion coming through as well and it looks like we're going to get this one done can the royal champion get across and protect this wizard oh it just did not that would have obviously been helpful just to have that extra wizard in terms of cleanup but not to worry we've still got enough we can pop that queen's ability the pecker managed to survive is that the one that was down there from the siege barracks i don't think so because his health is running low but we do get a lot of loot we move forward in terms of trying to spend all 60 million in this episode and let's see what we got i did have a quick farm in between guys because i found a dead base so i managed to get a little bit of loot in between and let's go ahead and see what we have in terms of spending a little bit more let's come back after the hog riders and the miners okay guys i have spent forever trying to find a base i guess everyone just loves farming on new year's day it's not ideal that we have three single target infernos but i've just noticed actually this is a town hall 12 so we should still be good let's queen charge from the opposite side here and i do think that the wall wrecker is maybe the best option due to the fact that we have to get through a number of walls. And I didn't take a jump spell, anything like that. I can't actually remember what I have in my wall wrecker. I think it is Hog Riders. Hog Riders it is. So I would like to get one more layer. Or would I? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like to get another layer. I... Uh, do I want to use a heal spell here? I think I'm going to, guys. Just to allow the Hog Riders this little bit further and make sure that we create a bit of a better funnel for the Queen to come down over away from the single target Infernos. That's my idea. Let's rage the Queen now to keep her alive through that enemy Queen. And let's use the King down to this side to create pathing for my Hog Riders and Miners to come straight through. And I think, guys... 
Why don't we do that now to ensure, let's use that king's ability to ensure that my queen doesn't move herself over to that area, guys. So I will use one heal spell around about here. There's a bit of a gap and also um, there's a wizard tower there. As they move down, Queen's ability will be used now. Uh, let's... Oh, I didn't mean to use the Grand Warden's ability. What was I doing there, guys? What was I doing? So, Hog Riders that are in the center will struggle. We've got enough Miners in there, though, to get the Town Hall down. Eagle Artillery coming through. And remember, the Miners duck under the Giga Bomb as well, which is the beautiful thing about this strategy. Let's use another... Um, Heal spell there. The Royal Champion pinging through a lot of stuff. We still got the Pekka here to tank, followed by the um, Baby Dragon Balloon. Should we use this final heal spell? I guess, guys. It is absolutely wrecked. Now, remember that was a Town Hall 12, obviously. I do feel like I attacked the base the correct way, but the whole idea between this strategy is using the Queen Charge on one area, setting the funnel on the other, however you can do that, and then pressing the Hogs and Miners through the center. We did attack a Town Hall 13 in the video, which I'm about to link you to. Oh, we just out missed out on a ton of golden elixir as well because I hadn't collected all of that or at least the gold we missed out on. Now for the end of the episode then, let's spend the rest of this loot. Expo, 16 million, got to be. If we go ahead and upgrade that, guys, we've got zero gold. This is the perfect opportunity to use a rune of gold, which means we can then upgrade the next expo, which means we have spent a ton in this episode to kick off 2020. If you are still here, guys, let me know down in the comments. I always love that. But if you want to see more Hog Riders and Miners combined against Town Hall 13, you can check out my video yesterday. I've linked it here, but we will catch you again here tomorrow. Until then, take care, guys.